Hey everybody, uh, today is going to be a quick tutorial on how to import data into RStudio and what you can do um, with that data once you get it in there. Um, so what we're going to do, um, I have this sample data set here. Um, I borrowed it from a data set called Animal Sleep Text. Um, you can look up this highlighted portion here to see where I got it from. Uh, but pretty much it has species listed, listed on the left and it analyzes the body weight, brain weight, sleep, lifespan, and measures a da danger index of some sort um, for each species. Um, so if you want to actually use the data in our studio, uh, you're going to have to save it as a special file called tab delimited text or a text file. Um, and that can be in your format options here. You would save it. Um, I have it on my desktop already. So then you would go into our studio and you would click import data set and then simply select the file to where you saved it and it will appear on your source page here. What's nice about um, our studio is that it already analyzed, um, it figured out that you have 53 observations or species in this case and the variables listed at the top. Um, so now if you want to, the program to actually know that you want to use your data set, you have to tell it because it's a computer here, you gotta give it some commands. So we're gonna attach the data set here, attach, um, and you would put the name of the file you imported, in this case is workbook one. Uh, make sure you're keen on capitalization. So now the program knows that we're gonna be reading the data from the workbook one file. Um, now some cool things you can do, you can write um, a quick summary of the data for body weight body weight, and it will tell you the min, the first quartile, the median, the mean, the third quartile, and the max. Now if you want to calculate the inner quartile range, look, you already got Q3 minus Q1, you're already on your, on your way here. What I really like about this program is that you can calculate things so quickly. Same thing, if you wanted to do body weight, boom, you already have the mean. You don't have to add all these numbers up and divide by the total, it just takes forever. Um, this is what's great about computers, right? In the real world, too, you're going to have the data. It's going to be coming at you. You don't have to do all the math on a calculator. The computer is going to be your calculator. And this is an example or an intro of how computers will be, you know, the calculator. Um, so let's do the summary of the other stuff for fun. Um, so we also got the summary of brain weight. Um, so the lowest is 0.14. The max is 5,712. The mean is 307. Median... 17.5 um, and then you have your quartile. Um, let's also do the other ones for fun. So the um, the sleep, the lowest amount of sleep this one of the species gets is 2.6 hours, say 10 hours. Um, maximum is 19.9. Uh, the average is 10.51 um, and then you got your quartile and your median. So let's do the summary of lifespan. How long do all these species um, live for. So the lowest is two years, the max is a hundred years. Turtles get to be a hundred years old. Okay, Finding Nemo, never mind. Um, but, you know, Crush, he's older than that. And never mind. Um, so we got the first quartile and the third quartile and the mean, so the average is about 20 years. Um, what about the danger index? So that appears to be on a scale of one to five. Danger index. So lowest obviously is one, the max obviously five, but I guess we were mostly concerned with the quartiles and the mean. Um, I guess the median too. So yeah, it's everything right here. Um, so the average is 2.5 about, and you got your quartile ranges there too. Okay, so if you just wanted the mean, you could just type in mean of body weight or mean of sleep, you know? Um, other things you can do, you can also, uh, if you just wanted the median, you could type in the same thing, mean or median of brain weight. Boom, and it tells you. It's, it's great. It's, oh, it's just awesome. Anyway, um, what's also really nice is standard deviation. So standard deviation is just SD, and then you put parentheses of whatever variable you want to look at. And the standard deviation for body weight is 970, about the standard deviation for brain weight is about 1,000. The standard deviation for sleep is about 4.69. The standard deviation for lifespan, 18.89. And the standard deviation for danger index shouldn't be high. Yeah, it's whatever. Um, I spelled it wrong. That's the danger index. Boom. Okay, awesome. So besides just gathering numerical data, our program can also do histograms. So if you want to do histograms, 
Um, you do hist, H-I-S-T, for histogram, and then you would put the name of your data set. Um, this is a shortcut way. You put a dollar sign and then the title of whatever variable you want to do. So we'll do body weight. Um, and it should produce, oops, I forgot, I forgot the one, workbook one, dollar sign, and then the title. Boom, you got a histogram displayed here. Although the title and stuff is, you know, not the way you'd want it, but at least you got to see what the data looks like. Let's try a histogram of um, brain weight too. So workbook one, dollar sign, brain weight. Boom, you got that. Histogram of, probably get a better one for sleep. Workbook one, dollar sign, sleep. Yeah, that's a better histogram. There you go. So, and you can look at the frequencies here too. Um, obviously, that's what histogram kind of shows. So let's just do the other ones for fun. Book, lifespan, why am I? Uh, workbook one, dang it. Okay, hist, workbook one, dollar sign, lifespan, lifespan. There you go, that one's pretty cool too. And finally, we'll do danger index. Danger index. Boom. Awesome. So, um, this was just a brief overview of stuff you can do. You can also do box plots. Um, but, um, yeah, I just thought I'd give a brief tutorial on how to, you know, use and gather information on your data in seconds rather than doing everything handwritten by ordering the numbers and gosh, finding the median ordering numbers is horrible, but, you know, and taking all that time to calculate the mean or the quartiles and the quartile interquartile range, finding the max and min, it's just a lot of searching, a lot of room for error, especially human error. So the computer here is there to help you. So now what you can do with your statistics stuff is actually analyze the data. What can, can you conclude? What can you gather? Are there any correlations you can uh, make? Stuff like that. So this program is very helpful, especially with uh, data sets that are very large and hope this will help you in your studies. Uh, this is a free program, by the way, called RStudio, uh, just in case I didn't make that clear. So hope this helps, and happy.